these are five things I'll never do as a homeschool mom. It actually might be six things because I think I have six things, but I just can't decide what I want the video to be called yet. Um, so hi, I'm Jamie Grace. I'm a second generation homeschooler. I have a little one named Isabella that is currently eating some pretzels. Oh no, blue chips in the background. Uh, she might be in this video, might not. She was in my other intro, <laughs> but um, I wanted to talk about some stuff that I will never do as a homeschool mom. Now, if you're new to my channel, this is not a homeschool channel. I'm a singer songwriter, but I'm also a full-time mom and I love being a mom. I love being a wife. I love my peoples. Um, there is my little munchkin there. So the irony of this first one is uh, that the first one is I will not stay home all day every day. Uh, we're at home right now and I think we were at home all day yesterday. So that's two days in a row, which is kind of the max when you have a little one. But the reason for this is because I think homeschooling can be done like so beautifully outside of the home. I feel like the most cliche one is you can do math in the grocery store, but it's real, you can. <laughs> There's so much to be done when it comes to science that can be done at a local park. There's so many different experiences and free experiences, like I said, with parks and libraries, and then also some affordable experiences at museums and things like that. So we do try to get out as much as we can. I have her in a co-op right now, which I quite casually refer to as my parents' house. But as I mentioned, I'm a second gen homeschooler. And so both she and her cousin go over there uh, regularly throughout the week. And my parents are great educators. So their names are Goldie and G-Pop. And I love that she is with them. I, I don't do num I don't do math. Um, it's just, it's not my strong suit. My husband works with her with math throughout the week. Um, and my parents, that is a little bit more of their focus because I'm not, that is not a, that is not a thing that I'm going to be teaching <laughs> like at all. Now don't get me wrong. I really love to be home. And I think part of the beauty and the value of homeschooling is really valuing your home and making your home a space that you love and that you enjoy. So when we are here together, I really enjoy this experience a whole lot. And so I do love being home with her um, because I really value that, but she likes to get out of the house. She can do like a day and then she's like, so <laughs> where's the scat? So the second thing that I was gonna say is I'll never homeschool alone, which I think that those first two kind of went together. So maybe it is five things and not six things, but I think it's really valuable to have the co-op experience and the co-learning experience. My husband's a former daycare teacher, so he has a lot of experience with teaching and educating as well. I'm grateful that I have the um, experience and the wisdom of other educators around me, but I also have really good friends that I will just straight up be like, yo, what are your kiddos reading these days? Like, what are, what are you guys checking out and just make sure that I'm not just thinking like, oh, we homeschool because we have all the answers and we know everything. I I can't. That that's not a way. That's just not a way to live life. So second thing is we do not bash public school kids. Uh, all kids have different experiences um, and lives and opportunities. Their parents might make certain choices for them, or sometimes choices are made and there's not really a reason why. Um, but that's something that I grew up with. I did not think that public school kids were the bad kids or that their parents were making the wrong choice. It was simply a different style of education. Now, I can't necessarily say that none homeschool kids returned the favor for me, but some of them did. I had friends that were in public school and private school that were like, oh, you homeschool. That's not something I understand. So I'll ask you a bunch of questions and okay, cool. Um, and, I'm, and I'm grateful for that. But that's just something that's really important to me that our kiddo doesn't grow up thinking that regardless of why we do what we do, that she's better than other kiddos or that other kids are less than or whatever the situation might be. I just, mm, I, my husband's a public schooler. I'm a homeschooler. He and I might exchange a few jokes here and there, um, but the kiddo doesn't hear them because that's really important to us. Yeah. Okay, this is another one that kind of goes with the last one. So I don't know what number we're at at this point. Again, I don't do <laughs> numbers, um, but we always hype up teachers. I mean, if there is a chance for like Teacher Appreciation Day, if we can, we can. Um, if it's just a conversation, then it's just a conversation. But it's just part of the overall experience of just making sure our kiddo knows like, hey, we might pick some stuff in life uh, where you fit in with all your friends. We might pick some stuff in life where you maybe don't have as many friends to even consider fitting in with. Um, but regardless, 
we're not about to be like, oh, I can't believe, uh, uh, uh. I just, mm, I don't have, uh, no, I don't have time for that. I also have so many friends um, who are teachers um, who I would be like, hey, boo, <laughs> what does this mean? So another thing that we're not going to do is spend unnecessary time on things. Y'all, the more I uh, start to kind of like look into like unschooling, uh, the more I realize, was I homeschooled or was I unschooled? <laughs> just we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna obsess over certain things that she does not need to obsess over um we of course go by like states guidelines of like hey your kids gotta know this if they plan on going into traditional college you know like because just in case she does choose to go the traditional college route we're of course gonna make sure that she is fully set up um and transcripts on you know, math and tests and all those things we'll <laughs> make sure that she's set up for that but i mean like if homie is like mom i want to be a dj and she's actually looking like she just might become a dj then that's going to become our focus and we'll figure out biology and all that kind of stuff but um it's just really important to me um that i that i'm mindful of <laughs> the things that i value about my homeschooling experience as a student and that i'm like okay let me copy paste those things but sometimes there might be at least one paragraph you don't have to really worry about so that's just, that's just my opinion. And the last thing that I will say that I will never do as a homeschool mom is homeschool forever if that's not what makes sense for us. I absolutely love being a homeschool mom. Um, it's I just really love it so much. And you know, Lord willing, we have this big, beautiful homeschool family. Like that will be so cool. But at the same time, if Bella or if another one of our kiddos ever came to us and I was like, hey, I don't think homeschooling is working. I want to try private school. I want to try public school. If that's what makes sense for that kid, and especially if that's what that kid wants to try, I want to make sure they have the opportunity to do that. That's something that my parents did for me, and I'm really grateful for that. Um, it didn't work out, <laughs> but um, most of that, I mean, most of that was largely due to my health, and um, my parents didn't choose to homeschool because of my health, but a lot of my continued homeschool education was because of my health and not being able to keep up with um, like a traditional schooling pattern or schedule. So um, I'm really grateful that I had the opportunity to try, and I'm grateful that I had the opportunity to make friends in different school settings. I have friends of mine that are from my private school experiences and I have friends of mine that are from my homeschool experiences um, and I'm just really, I don't know, I'm, I'm really grateful for that and grateful that uh, with all of these things combined, I mean truly like, I feel like I don't know, I feel like all this stuff kind of comes from how I was homeschooled but um, with all of these things combined, I cannot stop thinking of the, all these things and more. Um, but with, <laughs> with all of these things combined, um, it, it truly gave me a diverse and a colorful experience that prepared me for adulthood and the real world um, and gave me a, a decently successful college career. You know, I have a bachelor's, um, a pretty good professional career. <laughs> and yeah, I just, my schooling experience, I really valued. And I hope to continue to be that kind of homeschool mom in the future. Like I said, I'm not a homeschool channel, so this is not a ton of like what I talk about in the reg, uh, but you can click on the screen for some of my other homeschool videos uh, that I've made on occasion. And if you have any specific questions down below, you can ask them. But I also will be doing a full like homeschool unpacking podcast on my Patreon if you like to hear me ramble in this context. Uh, I do that more on Patreon, so you can check that out in the link below. Thank you for being here. Please subscribe, click the notification bell, be a nice human to all the humans and pets that you meet, and I'll talk to you later. Thank you, baby. <laughs> okay, bye.